So apparently Yu Yu wants to ban potentially Ogre Pawn Cornerstone. One of the sets that has actually gotten it to be put in that spotlight is Stomping Tantrum. As a usually high ranking underused ladder player, I felt it necessary to give my two cents on this notion. Yes, Ogre Pawn Cornerstone is an excellent Pokemon in the underused tier, but no, I do not believe it's because of Stomping Tantrum. Stomping Tantrum is a useful move on the Ogre Pond Cornerstone. Ogre Pond Cornerstone is a Pokemon that is, has extremely powerful stab attacks, and there are only a handful of Pokemon in the underused tier and below that reliably resist its stabs. Most of those Pokemon, if not all, are weak to the move Stomping Tantrum, making it even more difficult to check the Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond Cornerstone has about three reliable and consistent checks in the underused tier. There's even a neat little trick that you can pull off with the Stomping Tantrum, where if you pair it with Spiky Shield and they switch into one of these reliable checks, it doubles the power of Stomping Tantrum, making you hit them with a ground move stronger than Earthquake. However, no, Ogre Pond is not ban-worthy or needs to be considered to be banned because of Stomping Tantrum. The reason Ogre Pond finds success in the underused here is because of its good matchups versus a large majority of team archetypes and because of the sturdy ability which acts as a get out of jail free card in an emergency. In most teams you'll find that people rely on their ground types, their bulky water types and of course a flying type. These are the three styles of Pokemon that are common on a large variety of teams and Ogre Pond Cornerstone beats almost every single one of those three types of Pokemon, rendering it useful versus a large majority of team building styles and ideas. Even with Stomping Tantrum eliminating a lot of Ogre Pond's counters and checks, Stomping Tantrum is still a weak move. And if you need to use time to set up with the sword stance to, your Stomping Tantrum actually hurts. You are giving a decent opponent time to figure out a plan to stop your Ogre Pond. Stomping Tantrum does not one hit KO most of Ogre Pond's reliable answers. And it also makes contact, giving the opponent the opportunity to retaliate appropriately for your attack. In the underused here as well, there are Pokemon such as Low Kicks, First Impressions, who will usually one hit KO the Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond has access to a slew of better moves to hit its checks and moves that are more reliable overall in the underused here. One of them being Spiky Shield. It's impossible to put Spiky Shield on your Ogre Pond while still having the Sword Stance and Stomping Tantrum on, on, on deck. Superpower, I believe, is a move that is more reliable than Stomping Tantrum as the base power is so much more significantly high. Although Superpower does not reach into defeating a lot of Ogre Pond's checks and counters, it's still an overall reliable move to smack annoying Steel types that resist both Rock and Grass. Firstly, in my opinion, Stomping Tantrum is good on Ogre Pond, but it's not something that pushes it over the edge. You need Spiky Shield if you want to be safe versus Low Kicks, which is omnipresent nearly in the underused tier. Just imagine playing a decent game only to have your Ogre Pond sweep be shut down because Low Kicks is coming in for free all the time. And then they can play mind games like they can play U turn first impression mind games on you. Spiky Shield, yes, only stop. It's only there to deal with Low Kicks and potentially stall time in settings like Psychic Terrain and Trick Room. Low Kicks is such a meta defining Pokemon, it is worth. Giving up the slot or a coverage move, put protection on deck. You gotta keep yourself protected, man. Other miscellaneous moves that Ogre Pond might be able to fit that I think are more useful than Stomping Tantrum is the move Knockoff. Let's not forget that Ogre Pond also has access to spikes. Greninja in the old days used to be famous for just running its stab moves exclusively and setting up spikes on the honest checks and answers. Also, the notion that Ogre Pond might be banned because of Stomp Tantrum. Is something I've never personally heard of, but perhaps it's a, a question of me not digging deep enough. The Ogre Pond is rocking Stomp Tantrum, along with Sword Dance. That means that it's an all-out attacker, with no hidden secrets, or mind games to play, or team support to offer. And the answers to Sword Dance, Stomping Tantrum, Ogre Pond are quite clear. Simply just outspeed it and outgank it, and there are quite a number of reliable answers, mainly being Hydrapple in the underused tier. Also, Stomping Tantrum requires near-perfect timing and play. And there you have it, folks. Ogre Pond is not good or ban-worthy, in fact, because of Stomping Tantrum and Sword Stance. 
Okapon is good because of its typing and power. As, as mentioned, grass and rock typing threatens a large majority of classical team styles, the flying types, the ground types, and the bulky water types. Okapon Cornerstone has a lot of other things to be doing than hoping to sweep and catch its counters and checks off guard with Stomping Tantrum. Pokemon is a team game. You can't dump all of your hopes and dreams on the Ogopon cancelling out Steel-type counter or its check with Sword Zance plus Stomping Tantrum combination. You'll find more reliability in having it U-turn out or Spiky Shield to scout and have the rest of the team assisted in defeating the opponent's team. That is why I believe that Ogopon Cornerstone is very good Pokemon in the unused tier, but not broken at all. Stomping Tantrum has nothing to do with it. Folks, if you did enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments down below what you think about Ogopon Cornerstone. Do you think it is because of Stomping Tantrum that it is actually broken in the unused tier? Do you think that uh, what I've mentioned holds water? And also don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have not done so already. We shall be doing a lot more of these. Until next time folks, we'll be you turning out. Thanks for watching.